In this video, I'm gonna be explaining you what try accept exception handling in Python is and how to catch errors in Python. Now, what I mean by catching errors, I'm gonna be showing you in just a moment. So let me create a new file here. I'll say tutorial22.py and let me uh, close this previous file. I'll close this explorer, uh, make myself some more space and I will write try catch. In, in fact, it's try accept. Uh, so if you are uh, coming from a language like C or C++, it is catch there. So try accept exception handling in Python. Now why use try accept exception handling? What does it mean? Let me explain you something. So let us say you have this Python script. You have line number one. You have line number two. Uh, line number one was some import statements. In fact, let me call it block. So block is uh, collection of lines so let us say block number one uh, might have first four lines and the next four lines are there in block number two uh, and let us say we have uh, some let me uh, say some uh, calculations uh, inside my block number two and then block number three is uh, reaching the internet and it's pulling some data from the server so let us say it's pulling some data and then uh, and then block number four uh, block number four uh, returns the result. Uh, let us say it re returns the result to the end user. It will tell that whether the data pull was successful or not. Now consider a case. Uh, let me make it block number five and I'll make it block number four. And block number four will be uh, perform data pre-processing. So I'll say perform data pre-processing and uh, this is return uh, return the result so we have five blocks in a python script uh, in the first block we have some port statements and then in the second block we have some calculations then we have some data pull in block number three block number four is uh, the data pre-processing pre-processing of the data that we pulled in uh, step number three and then finally in step number five we are returning the result which means we are printing it on the screen or maybe writing to the database whatever the case may be now what i'm going to do is i'm going to comment these lines because these lines are not valid python syntax now let us say your uh, uh, you have an active internet connection your wi-fi works fine you will have your block number one executed successfully block number two will also get successful then block number three is pulling some data from the internet and you do not have your internet connection uh, at place so what will happen is this will fail and your program will throw some error now since your program threw some error in block number three you cannot reach block number four and you cannot reach block number five which means that the result is not returned in block number five but what i would like to rather do is i would like to uh, throw the error to the user in fact i'll tell the user that hey uh, there was something wrong with the connection and we were not able to pull the data in step number three which is the reason we were not able to pre-process it in step number four and hence we are giving you this message in step number five but if you do not have your uh, error handling at place your block number three will fail it will throw some error and your script will stop working let me give you an example so let us say i have something like uh, a is equal to five and then i have b is equal to int input i'm taking input from the user i'll say enter b and I'm giving you a very simple example. Now this is a real world scenario that you might encounter if you are working on a real world problem. But I'm giving you a very simple example wherein I am saying A is equal to five and then B is equal to uh, int input and a B. And then you will have something like C is equal to, uh, let me say A plus B. And then what I'll do is, uh, let us say I am saying if, if, something which fails and that is why it's false i'll do something else is d is equal to six and then again i say print d but since this was false and it did not reach here or, or let me say server data 
server data is equal to false let us say it returns false for some reason and you have if server data d is equal to 6 and you are printing d here and now you are saying print success if i run this program here it will run it will ask me the value of b i'll say 4 but here it's saying name d is not defined because server data returns false which is the reason d is equal to 6 is not executed my line number 15 is not executed because my line number 14 contains an if statement which is false so i cannot come here to line number 16 and have my python program executed successfully because i do not have the value of d it's saying that name d is not defined since i don't have d defined here i cannot use it i cannot print it and it will throw some error so how to fix this problem now you might be thinking had you have hard coded this server data as false why haven't you uh, given it some true or some other value and it will go through so if i give it some value which is true then it will go through i'll show you so if i run it and i say b is equal to 5 and it will say 6 and success so uh, when a programmer is programming uh, the worst thing he can do is to only consider positive scenarios a true programmer is a programmer who will consider all the negative scenarios as well so what if server data fails what if server fails what if my internet connection breaks what if the data is not there in order on the server so let me uh, write a comment here i'll say server data uh, returns true if or rather server data returns true i'll say only if data pull is successful so i'll comment this out and server data will return uh, true only if uh, data pull is successful uh, successful and it will return false otherwise so if it returns false then i will have my program throw some error so how to fix this problem so what i'll do is i'll say okay whatever the case may be whatever the server data returns just try this so i'll say try i'll say just try this and if this goes through it means that we were successful but if it doesn't then you say accept exception uh, sorry it has to be capital exception uh, oops this one as e and i'll say print e and it will print exception for me so what i'll do here is i'll say uh, f string i'll say it failed because of this error and i'll say e let me remove this e from here and it will print it failed because of this error and if i run this program you'll see that server data is false it will ask me for um, b and it will go through but again it will tell me that this was the error uh, which occurred which means my program is not throwing any error but it is telling me that it failed because of this error and anything after this anything so if i say print some more lines will be executed so this will be executed because this was not an error this was a print statement this is a result of print statement it is not an error so if you want to see the error it looks like uh, it looks like this let me show you let me write if one for the time being here so it looks something like this name is not defined name error trace back so this is an error but if i put my try and i uncomment this uh, accept and if i run this program you'll see that i will have uh, it failed because of this error name d is not defined and i have this some more lines executed i have line number 25 executed because i have caught this error in case you do not have try accept at place you will not see this some more lines here because your program is terminated right on the line where it sees an error so if your program encounters an error you will be halted there you will not be able to process the further lines from your program 
so this is how you can catch errors from your program now what if uh, what if it was true what if everything was good if everything was good it will try it and it will go through so it will successfully print if server data d is equal to 6 and then it will print success and then it will print some more lines but in case you see some error without try except this will not be printed now this can be some more lines i've just given an example by writing one line here so uh, now you know why we use try except so i will be summarizing this thing here so what i'll do is uh, i will come back to the program at the top of the program i gave you an example wherein i told you that we have five blocks in our python script the first block is a set of import statements the second block uh, is some set of calculations uh, the third block is pulling some data from some data store it can be some database but it has to use internet uh, this is the step which might fail if you do not have a stable internet connection so block number four and block number five will only be executed if you do not have an error uh, in your block number three if block number three throws some error uh, it will end your python script here itself in block number four and block number five will not be executed which means the end user will not be able to see return the result step of this program but we want our end user to see the result of this program so what we'll do is we'll try step number three we'll say try this and in case you see some error go to accept block and throw the exception but do not stop the program do not allow the program to throw the error so it will say okay a is equal to 5 b is equal to input taken from the user c is equal to a plus b and then server data uh, some some script to pull data from the server which will update server data variable server data will be true if you are able to successfully pull data from the server but it will be false otherwise so if you have server data here uh, it will go through and it will initialize d is equal to 6 but in case server data is false it will not be able to define d and you will get an error here it will say print d what do you mean by print d i do not know what d is so it will throw you an error but since this thing is packed inside a try block it will say wait we cannot allow this program to throw an error because it is protected by a try statement so what we'll rather do is that since these set of lines are protected by this try block we'll go to the accept block and we'll throw the exception but we'll not throw the error we'll just do whatever accept block tells us to do so accept block says that okay you print this thing and then print the error here so it will say it failed because of this error it will throw the error whatever the value of e is it was d is not defined in this case so it printed it failed because of this error and it uh, printed uh, d is not defined in place of e and then your program will keep on executing as usual so now you know how try and accept works i hope uh, this gave you uh, enough information about try and accept and now you'll be able to use try and accept in your programs i hope uh, you are liking these series of videos and you are learning python with me uh, in case you have any doubt and in case you think i can do better make sure to give me uh, some suggestions in the comment sections below and thank you for all the thumbs ups that you are hitting on these videos make sure to hit thumbs up uh, on this video as well i'll greatly appreciate it uh, thank you so much guys for watching this video make sure to access this playlist and bookmark it and i will see you next time